Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Sec MRI, and this is a 12-year-old female who's having knee pain, left knee pain for about a week and a half, and she has a almost normal MRI exam, just a very subtle finding here. So this is a coronal T1-weighted sequence. We see the femur coming down. We see the femoral growth plate coming across here. It's not fused yet, and we note down here that the tibia um, does have fusion of the physis. So this is already fused, so we know this is going to happen soon. And if we go towards the back, it looks good. As we roll forward, we do see an area of low signal right here. So this is an area where the growth plate is beginning to fuse. And when it, can, when it fuses focally like this, they call this focal periphyseal edema, FOPE, FOP zone. And we'll see in another view that they have um, some marrow edema around this. So as the growth plate begins to fuse, it may start focally like this, causing knee pain. And then over time, when it fuses the rest of the way, the pain will go away and then become stable. So here we go. We're going to try to find it on this one. There it is. So here we have this focal region of mild marrow edema adjacent to the growth plate. And again, they believe this is related to uh, the beginning of fusion of the femoral physis and the abnormal stress related to that focal fusion. You can see that again on the sagittal images as well. Here it is on the sagittal images. So it's easy to jog past if you're just going like this. But if you stop and look, you can see, yep, there it is. So FOPE, FOP zone, very, very common. It can be a source of knee pain. This patient also had this subtle edema in their quadriceps fat pad over here, very minimal. Maybe they have some mild fat pad impingement, but um, I think this is the main finding. And a very small joint diffusion. And thank you very much.